With the 5.0 update, some side order info did get data mined. Now this will be containing spoilers for the side order DLC. Only some slight ones I would say, but I definitely would recommend you if you don't want to hear about this information, click away from this video. But before you do, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to keep up to date with not just side order info and discussion but i also cover other aspects in terms of splatoon 3 so there will be videos or have been videos talking about new special splatfest details and new special weapon details as well so if this video is not to your liking because it does contain some slight side order spoilers then I definitely would recommend you to click away from this video and go in a pinned comment and go onto those two videos if they are already uploaded or go onto my channel and look for other Splatoon 3 content. There is plenty on there. So yeah, now that is out of the way. Let's get into what was discovered and it's not really a lot. Well, what has been leaked out isn't a lot. But according to Data Mine Ash Binary, there is apparently a lot of side order info in the 5.0 update. So that might tell us that maybe we will get more news really soon for the side order DLC. But yeah, what has been leaked out is these sort of text files. There is one called Windhawk MSTXT. I'm not sure what that is. There is one known as Talk Stage Random and another one known as Talk World Random. So maybe we will be talking to someone in the hub world. Again, not really meaning much, but the one big thing to come from this sort of leak is that new player models were added with the 5.0 update co-named RSF RSM. Japanese data miner as 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 with a bunch of numbers at the end seems to think that this is referring to rival side order male, rival side order female, rival squid male, rival squid female. A lot of people did initially speculate that maybe this is a brand new species introduced within the side order DLC, but Japanese data miner as 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 doesn't seem to think it will be a new species. There are many things it could mean maybe we could be coming up against enemy inklings similar to enemy octolings in the story mode so the sort of bot like enemy interactions maybe that is what it could be my mind immediately went to agent 4 maybe this does confirm that agent 4 will be in the side order dlc that will definitely be a popular inclusion i've just got the feeling that maybe rival side order male rival side order female that might be referring to, say like if you do have a Splatoon 2 save file on your Switch, Agent 4 in the Splatoon 3 side order DLC will be whoever you did play as, like whether you played as a male or female in the Splatoon 2 story mode, that is who they will be in the side order DLC. But say like if you never played Splatoon 2 story mode, or say like if you don't have, a Splatoon 2 story mode save file on your Switch, you will design Agent 4 within the side order DLC, kind of like how you could design Agent 3 within the Octo Expansion DLC. And maybe Agent 4 will be a rival and you have to compete against them to complete some sort of objective. Again, not a lot to go off, but that is just where my mind immediately went to. I don't feel like this is the main boss, Maybe it will just be like a mini boss, kind of like what Agent 3 was within the Octo Expansion DLC. And maybe we will be coming up against Agent 4 this time around, but maybe that theory could be completely wrong. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. What do you think that is? What do you think it is referring to? Whatever it is, we will be coming up against it within the side order DLC. So yeah, this probably might be the last time I will talk about side order leaks on the channel. But that is pretty much it for this video. I will see you in another video soon.